yesterday we have seen average translational energy of gas molecules is directly proportional to temperature now here temperature is doubled initially it is 300 and finally it is 600 Translational kinetic energy will also be double since temperature is double. What is the answer? Could you get the answer? What is the answer of this question? Yes. The answer is question. Kapka. Nobody. Eh? बिल्कुल पढ़ाई नहीं करना नो बड़ी रिस्टर्डिंग है ना कुछ होमवर्क नहीं करना एंड रिवाइज नहीं करना आंसर नहीं देना क्लास में एवरीबॉडी इज लाइक दैट नो बड़ी रिस्टर्डिंग नो बड़ी इज डूइंग द होमवर्क यस स्लो यू आल्सो नॉट डन आर यू देयर कर दो आंसर स्लो क्या आंसर आया इसका किया नहीं कुछ भी आ, आ, किया और रिप्लाई नहीं कर रहा क्या आंसर है शीतल वाडे जी और आंसर यस शीतल आर यू देयर क्या आंसर आया इसका Only one question given, उसको भी नहीं करना है ना ओके देखो इज इक्वल टू ई डायरेक्टली प्रोफेशनल टू टी सिंस टेम्परेचर डबल्स देयर फॉर एनर्जी विल ऑल्सो डबल सिंस टेम्परेचर इज डबल देयर फॉर एनर्जी ऑल्सो डबल्स सिंस ई डायरेक्टली प्रश्न टू टी तो डबल हो जाएगी इनिशियली कितनी है ई टू विल बी टू टाइम्स ऑफ ई वन इनिशियली इज गिवन सिक्स पॉइंट टू वन इन टू टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन इट बिकम्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर टू इंटू टू टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन जूस दे पार्ट वन वॉट अबाउट पार्ट टू रूट मीन स्पीड आर एम एस स्पीड वी आर एम एस डायरेक्टली प्रोफेशनल टू रूट रूट टी तो रूट टेम्परेचर डबल हो रहा है तो वी आर एम एस विल बी रूट टू टाइम्स ऑफ वी आर एम एस वन फिर रूट टू टाइम्स हो जाएगी बिकॉज टी रूट के अंदर है इसमें Do you remember full formula of RMS speed? कितना होता है RMS speed का full formula? Under root of three RT upon m naught. So others are constant and translation kinetic energy का formula क्या था? Three by two kBT. This is also temperature dependent. Other terms are remaining constant. So this is root two times. Root two is one point four one four into initial RMS speed is four four eight four four eighty four. If you multiply both, what you get is six eighty four meter per second. Therefore, option number D is the right answer. Got it. So this is the important question. Any difficulty here? Okay.
let's see now what is next now we are going to see degrees of freedom of gas molecules degrees of freedom we can denote by symbol f the meaning of this degrees of freedom means it is suppose we have any gas particle here how many ways it can have the energy it can have the energy by translation motion going along x y or z axis translation motion se usko energy ho sakti plus it can rotate also about the axis so rotation se it can have the energy it can vibrate also about its Uh, what is called about its bond suppose it, it is diatomic so it can oscillate also so it can have any gas molecule have energy with various ways or various independent ways we can say you know degree of freedom of gas molecule is the number of ways or if independent word i am removing just number of ways the gas particle number of ways the gas particle gas molecule can store the energy for example translation rotation and vibration maximum three ways maximum three ways are in three uh, ways it can have the energy because we know all the energies kinetic energy kinetic energy can be translation motion rotation motion or vibration motion in vibration also we have the motion therefore kinetic energy comes in that theek hai to degree of freedom is number of ways any gas particle have the energies for example translation rotation and vibration now in translation also there are the options it can go along the x axis it can go along the y axis can go along the z axis or it can go in any other direction it will have three components we can make the coordinate system there and we can divide it into three three rectangular components to maximum translation maximum number of ways maximum degree of freedom in translation motion can be three along the x y or z axis and uh, what about rotational i have written already written here i am just expanding expanding it dekho to translation degree of freedom kitni hai 3 hai it along the x y or z axis hai na but rotational degree of freedom is zero why because why it will be zero because moment of inertia of point mass is zero since moment of inertia of point mass about axis passing through it is zero about axis passing through central mass passing through its central mass is zero vibrational also will be zero because single particle cannot oscillate single particle has, it can move but there is other particle needed to oscillate two particles come come to because two particles two particles should be there two atoms should be there and they are connected with the bonds like this our bonds are equivalent to spring now they can move inward and outward to vibration ke liye minimum two two particles are needed two atoms are needed to so monoatomic mein monoatomic mein for example helium or argon or neon these are the monoatomic gases in which we have the single atom it cannot vibrate to so vibrational kinetic energy is zero 
rotational kinetic energy is also zero only it has three translational degree of freedom degree of freedom ke sath energy bhi relate ho jati hai it can have three ways the energy like this theek hai samajh mein aaya ye could you get this point single gas particle can go along the x y and z axis and hence they can have the energy hai na degree of freedom means uh, independent way it can store the energy and it can go like this like this like this and it will have three translational degree of freedom and three translational kinetic energy half mvx square idhar jayega to half mvx square ho jayega idhar half mvy square इधर हाफ एम वी दैट इज कनेटिक एनर्जी हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर आर यू गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट तो मोनोटॉमिक गैस पार्टिकल्स विल हैव थ्री डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ओनली व्हाट अबाउट डायटॉमिक गैस डायटॉमिक का देखते सपोज वी हैव द ओ2 वन मॉलिक्यूल वन एटम इज हियर एंड अदर इज हियर एंड इन बिटवीन इट इज कनेक्टेड विद द बॉन्ड Okay. Now, as a single particle, as a single body, as a whole, it can go like this, or it can go along the y-axis, or it can go along the z-axis. So, as a single system, it can go along the all the three axes. So, it will have again translational degree of freedom three. See, so along the x and y. X, Y, and Z axis. What about rotational degree of freedom? It can rotate about the x-axis. I say x-axis. Can about rotate? Karega. Particles are away. Center of mass is here. Particles are away from the axis. So therefore, they will have the moment of inertia. Ha, moment of inertia of point mass m r square. R will be this distance and this distance. Okay. So along the x-axis, it will have. But y-axis is passing through the point masses. After after passing through the center of mass, it is also passing through the both the atoms. So, its moment of inertia zero will be along the y-axis. But about z-axis, z-axis, again it will have it can rotate like this. Again, it will have certain distance from z-axis, and it will have moment of inertia non-zero moment of inertia. So rotational degree of freedom will be two here, one along the x-axis, another about the z-axis, and not about the y-axis because moment of inertia about the y-axis is zero. Energy, kinetic energy, kya hoti rotation mein? Batayiye. Half I omega square hoti. So agar moment of inertia zero ho gaya, to kinetic energy zero ho jayegi. About the y-axis, it is becoming zero. No energy. When it rotates about the y-axis, y-axis ke about rotate karenge. It doesn't have any energy because moment of inertia is zero. So along the two axes, it can have the energy. Are you getting this point? And vibration, it can vibrate about the bond. Be a common bond, sir. तो इधर से ऐसे वाइब्रेट कर सकते हैं वाइब्रेशन सबने पढ़ा सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन देर वी आर सीन के एंड पी टोटल एनर्जी के एंड पी तो हेयर ऑल्सो इट विल है टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ड्यू टू वाइब्रेशन वन विल बी के and other will be p but when temperature is very high at high temperature at high temperature vibrational is at high temperature which is more than 1000 kelvin then its vibration is significant apart from motion apart from moving apart from the motion it will vibrate also so vibration Degree of freedom is very high temp at very high temperature. Okay, so got this.
देख लिया फ्रीडम समझ में आ रहा है ट्रांसलेशन तो तीन है इसमें भी तीन है बट इसमें रोटेशन जीरो है वाइब्रेशन भी जीरो है बट यहाँ पे रोटेशनल टू है वाइब्रेशन भी टू है टोटल कितनी होगी इसमें इसमें टोटल कितनी हो गए थ्री प्लस टू प्लस टू इट इज सेवन बट जनरली वाइब्रेशनल वाली इट इज नॉट मेंशन इट इज नॉट काउंटेड इन नुमेरिकल्स पर्टिकुलरली व्हेन वी डू द नुमेरिकल तो टेम्परेचर इज नॉट वेरी हाई नॉट मोर देन थाउजेंड तो वी डील विद दिस ओनली नुमेरिकल्स में वी डील ओनली टू ट्रांसलेशन सिंगल बॉडी इट कैन गो अलॉन्ग एक्सिस it will have three translational degree and it can have all the three rotational degrees of freedom along the x axis agar y bit kar suppose if we take x here okay x here le rahe y here and z here to iska to moment of inertia zero ho jayega when it rotated about the x axis but other other atoms will have some non zero moment of inertia therefore rotational along the y axis suppose this ka zero ho raha hai iska zero ho raha hai these will have non zero moment of inertia about z axis so suppose iska zero ho raha hai other side having non zero so rotation can be maximum three about the x and y and z axis translation again three three moment of inertia i mean three translation uh, uh, Degree of freedom along the x and y and z axis, and rotation also three, and vibrations they depend upon the type of the molecule. They can oscillate or this, they can oscillate or they can oscillate like this. They can there can be many vibration de, vibrational degree of freedom is very complex here, so it will be depending upon the type of molecules and temperature also. Of course, temperature should be one, more than one thousand Kelvin. Then only vibration. is significant so we cannot write here for polyatomic it is very difficult to write sometimes these two may oscillate only you know significantly depending upon the situation so we don't write the vibration here so what we have seen agar hum table se dekhe let's see with the table degree of freedom for various molecules excluding the vibrational mode vibrational mode ko chhod ke likhte because that is Generally, particularly polyatomic, it is very complex. So, for example, helium translation is three, rotation is zero. Three plus zero is equal to three. Diatomic oxygen, three. A nitrogen, whatever the gas, diatomic is there. Three translational and rotational two. Total is five. Polyatomic, it is. Three plus three, six. Okay. So these are used in particularly numericals and others. Vibrational we can skip. Okay. So if you want to see it again, if I have if I have the diagram, I can show you. After that, I'm showing. Let first you note down. If you have the that animated model, I can show you. Anything you want to ask here? Are you there or not? So we are there. So first, push lo. You ask your doubts here. If you miss any point, then we can see the animated model. Uh, sir yeah sir in that video he uh, said that he would leave the tip for the waiter by putting the coin under the cup with mm. the water on top of it mm. 
But sir, how do you get it out then? The first you ask here. First you just this. I am asking you here. Do you have any uh, doubt here? That you think about yourself. Think yourself. Current point. Me, but there is no doubt here. No, sir. No. And table you have seen. Anybody? This table we can write like this. You are still thinking about that, not following this. Sir, I am actually. I was going to ask you just after the video ended, but something okay. happened with my mic. So. But there, you could you, could you get this or not? First, this is important. Yes, sir. Hmm? We'll, we can discuss that. We can think about that. Huh? Okay. Uh, laws of equipotation. Okay. Let us see if we, I can show you with the model another model of this these points. Just let me hold the recording. Now, law of equipartition of energy. Law of equipartition of energy means what? By the name itself, you can just identify equal partition. Equipartition means equal partition. Kiska energy? Molecule ka. Law of equipartition of energy of gas molecule or gas atom, gas particle. Okay. So what is the meaning of equipartition or equal partition? Meaning is this. Any gas particle, suppose suppose one gas particle has got gas atom or molecule, it has got say say three joules of energy, or it can have any joules of energy. Okay, so all the energy of gas particle will be all the energy of the gas particle will be equally divided in all the degrees of freedom. Total energy will be equally divided. In all the degrees of freedom, it in other words, it will have energy equal energy in each degree of freedom, irrespective of type of it is. And every degree of freedom may have equal energy. That is what is the meaning of equipartition of energy. Means gas particle will have equal energy in all the degrees of freedom, irrespective of type of it is. Okay. Now, if you see the model, you will see that this is given by 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 this is One by two kBT. So, every degree of freedom may have its energy. It is temperature dependent again. Already we have seen in previous classes also, energy of gas particle will depend upon only on the temperature. So, each degree of freedom may have its energy. So, depending upon degree of freedom, it will have total energy will be added up. So, here we see. Can you read it? Can you see it? Total energy of gas particle, gas molecule, is equally divided in each degree of freedom, and energy associated with each degree of freedom is one by two kBT per molecule. ठीक है ऐसे लिखते हैं per molecule energy mu. Energy associated with each degree of freedom of molecule will be Up atom or molecule, whatever type of gas is there, will be equal to half kVT. So every degree of freedom may get any of it temperature dependent. If temperature goes up, this energy will go up. Clear? So equal is. Every degree of freedom may equal. It is not that translation will take more or rotation will take more. All will take equal. All will share equal. So all degree of freedom will have equal. Energy divided into it. Okay. Therefore, if I ask you, what is the total energy of gas molecule? It depends on the degree of freedom. Gas molecule has gas molecule के पास कितनी degree of freedom है? उस each degree of freedom में half kBT. So if F be the degree of freedom of gas molecule, if F be the degree of freedom of gas molecule, then Total energy of gas molecule will be F times of half kVT. Clear? Simple logic is here. No rocket science here. Each degree of freedom may it na hai. Total degree of freedom, jitni bhi hogi molecule ke pas, usse multiply kar denge to total energy mil jayegi. Simple logic. Are you getting this point or not? Hmm. 
no problem so this is this is all about your law of equipartition of energy each degree of freedom will have this much energy therefore we can find out total energy of gas molecule yes a monoatomic hai usme f3 a jayega diatomic hai kitna hota hai diatomic mein f kitna hota hai vibration we are not counting at all at regular temperatures at which they operate diatomic mein kitna hai f boliye hmm no response coming are you there are you there or not yes the hmm. atomic ki degree of freedom kitni hai abhi to padha hum logon ne kuch kya nahi rakha hai five hai ki nahi diatomic mein five se multiply karenge polyatomic mein it is six to so six se multiply kar denge to so, ek molecule ki energy mil jayegi ek molecule aur atom ki energy mil jayegi मॉलिक्यूल और एटम है ठीक है अगेन इट विल बी वेरी लो नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर इज बिकॉज के बी के बी की वैल्यू बहुत लो होती है टेन टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री की ऑर्डर की होगी तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट योर इक्वी पार्टीशन ऑफ एनर्जी ठीक है F being the degree of freedom, and so the degree of freedom, which one has? Polyatomic, right? Because numbers are more there, number of atoms are more there, right? No response coming. Clear or not? कोई डाउट है क्लियर तो नाउ यूजिंग दिस पॉइंट कैन वी फाइंड आउट द कैन वी फाइंड आउट द इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ गैस अगर हमें सिंगल मॉलिक्यूल की एनर्जी पता है तो इंटरनल एनर्जी निकाल सकते हैं गैस की ऑलरेडी वी आर सीन टू फार्मूला दिस इज द थर्ड फार्मूला कमिंग अप फॉर इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ द गैस तो गैस में अगर हमें एक एक मॉलिक्यूल की एनर्जी पता है हमें टोटल नंबर ऑफ गैस पार्टिकल्स मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे दैट विल बी इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ द गैस सिंपल वेरी सिंपल लॉजिक वी नो द एनर्जी ऑफ सिंगल गैस पार्टिकल इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई एंड वी वांट टू नो द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ गैस पार्टिकल्स इंटरनल एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट एनर्जी ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल द गैस पार्टिकल एस एन नो इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ गैस इज नथिंग बट एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल गैस पार्टिकल Energy of all gas particles. That is what is internal. Internal means internal. What is cylinder? Inside the gas particle is its doesn't depend upon the external energies. Even if cylinder is moving, so that is not interested. Gas particles are not interested in that. No. Gas individual particle has how many? And total particles how many? That will make up internal energy. So n being the total number of gas particles, then total energy, which is also which will be called internal energy of the gas, denoted by U, will be n into energy of energy of each particle, which is F into half K B T. Okay. All right. So simple logic. N se multiply kar diya isko. Isko n se multiply kar diya. Total sabhi particle ki energy aa gayi. So That is nothing but the energy of the gas. All right, but n can be written number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. N can be written. Okay, but Na into Kb is nothing but a r. Na into Kb, Na into Kb is r. It becomes half Nf RT. This is called Nf RT. Ko nafrat. प्रोनाउंस कर सकते हैं हाफ ऑफ द नफरत अरे देयर यस सर यस सर नफरत का आधा 
because half comes from this equipartition of energy k formula c so this is the this is the third relation of inter energy pehle humne padha tha inter energy ka first law of thermodynamics heat supplied is equal to change of inter energy plus work done फिर हमने कहा पड़ा था इंटर एनर्जी का डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू एन सी वी डेल्टा टी चेंज होगा अगर टेम्परेचर चेंज किया और वी कैन एडिट लाइक दिस इफ टेम्परेचर चेंजेस बाय टेम्परेचर चेंजेस बाय डेल्टा टी तो इंटर एनर्जी विल आल्सो चेंज चेंज के लिए हम ऐसा लिख सकते हैं change in inter energy will be equal to half nf r delta t baki to constant dikh rahe hai dekho half n number of moles constant degree of freedom constant r constant any change in the temperature will change the inter energy got it so ye aapka inter energy and ye change of inter energy no problem now Using second and third equation of inter energy change of inter energy, we can get Cp and Cv value. Cp, Cp's value is how much? And Cv, Cp, what was the value? Molar specific heat at constant pressure. Cv was the molar specific heat at constant volume. We will equate it. 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 डेल्टा टी डेल्टा डी कैंसिल हो जाएगा और एन एन कैंसिल हो जाएगा सीरी की वैल्यू में जाएगी एफ आर बाई टू और डिपेंडिंग अपन टाइप ऑफ गैस एफ की वैल्यू पुट कर देंगे एफ विल बी थ्री फॉर मोनोटॉमिक इट विल बी फाइव फॉर डायटॉमिक सिक्स विल बी फॉर तो सीपी की वैल्यू सीवी एंड सीपी की अगर सीवी की वैल्यू मिल गई तो सीपी की भी मिल जाती है बिकॉज सीपी इज सीपी माइनस सीवी इज इको टू आर तो सीपी विल बी आर प्लस सीवी सीवी की वैल्यू में आर ऐड कर देंगे सीपी मिल जाती है तो उससे हमें सीपी एंड सीवी मिल जाते हैं और सीपी एंड सीवी मिलने के बाद गामा निकाल सकते हैं गामा इज सीपी बाय सीवी है ना तो दैट इज द पॉइंट रिमेनिंग नाउ व्हिच वी कैन सी टुमारो यहां तक कोई डाउट है व्हाट वी हैव लर्न टुडे एक तो हम लोगों ने डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सीखा देन वी हैव सीन इक्विपार्टिशन ऑफ एनर्जी जस्ट नाउ एंड यूजिंग दैट इक्विपार्टिशन ऑफ एनर्जी से इंटरनल एनर्जी का तीसरा फार्मूला सीखा विच इज हाफ ऑफ द नफरत एन एफ आर टी एन बींग एन बींग द नंबर ऑफ मोस एफ बींग द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम आर बींग द गैस कॉन्स्टेंट और यूनिवर्सल गैस कॉन्स्टेंट डेल्टा टी आर टी बींग द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर और टेम्परेचर है ना दोनों सेम है ठीक है बहुत सारे सेम फॉर्म ओनली एक में चेंज निकालना है एक में अगर पर्टिकुलर एक सिंगल टेम्परेचर दिया हुआ है तो इंटर एनर्जी निकाल सकते हैं टेम्परेचर चेंज दिया है तो चेंज ऑफ इंटरजी निकाल सकते हैं गॉट इट तो रिमेनिंग